Hey everyone, okay, so a very exciting day today. We are launching a new product. I am launching a new product. So let me share it with you. This is the Wayne Goss Weightless Veil Blush Palette. And it is the most gorgeous palettes, four palettes in total, containing blusher and a corresponding gorgeous highlighter. So let me explain them. I love blusher. I think that it is instant prettiness on the skin. It gives life to the skin. It makes the skin look more radiant and beautiful. A little coat of mascara, some blusher and lip gloss, and you'll just look gorgeous all day long. And I really wanted these palettes to be flattering to all skin tones. So let's talk blushes. Now these blushes are matte. All four shades are matte. And the reason I created matte uh, blushes as opposed to shimmery ones is that I wanted to give you the option of adding shimmer if you wanted to and this way you get to decide well I might want to I might want my cheeks to be slightly matte today or you might want a shimmering blusher where you can combine that then with a highlighter to create a custom shimmery blusher shade and that's why I wanted to go with a matte shade because matte is flattering on all skin tones and then you can add the shimmer and customize it to your heart's content so there's the best of both worlds here in this palette and I also think that there is something quite beautiful about being able to dip back and forth into each product to create your own custom highlight, your own custom blush shade, depending on your mood. Now the highlighter is incredibly special. It starts its life as a gorgeous liquid. And this formula does not emphasize lines. And this was incredibly important. The test group that I have are over 40 and it is very, very crucial that they like the product and I like the product. So the goal here was to try and create a highlighter that will highlight the skin, it will glisten on the skin, it will shine on the skin, but it won't scream out any texture or ir irregularities on the skin that you may not want emphasized. And it really does that. It glides over smoothly and beautifully and it just makes the skin glisten. And again, like I mentioned with the blusher, you can combine these, right? So here's some, here's a kind of like a really cool way of doing it. You can apply your highlighter first to the cheek area and then buff in the blusher. It creates this shimmering effect on the skin. Or if you just lay the blusher very kindly over the shimmer, you get that kind of lit from within this ethereal look that comes through the skin. So you get to custom and play with it and just enjoy to your heart's content. Now, as I mentioned, the over 40s is a very important group to me. I am over 40 and therefore I think it's a group that is often missed out in cosmetics. Now, it should be made clear that my cosmetic line will work for all skin tones and skin ages, but that isn't always true the other way around. Sometimes what can look great on younger skin doesn't always look that flattering as we get older. And this is where my cosmetic line steps in because the emphasis here really is on making sure that all ages are catered for. And that is so important to me. I want the eyeshadows to glide on smoothly. I want the foundations to, to erase irregularities and pigmentation on the skin. And I want my blushes and highlighters to add that glow that we're all looking for. Now with blusher, it's important that you apply it wherever you want there to be colored to the skin. And that is really important. Everybody's face shape is different, so you should apply it however makes you happy. You're gonna see demonstration now from the gorgeous Mel and the stunning Kelsey. So let me talk you through them and the color palettes. Coral Rose is a soft peachy pink. It's delicate, sheer, a veil of color lights the skin delicately. On very fair skin, you can apply this to the hairline to give the effect of softly flushed skin. The highlighter is a sheer white beige with flecks of gold like glistening sand in the sun. Apply to the brow bone, the cheekbones, your arms, your legs, stand back and admire. Bright Poppy. Bright Poppy is designed to mimic freshly picked cherries on all skin types. I wanted to create this blusher because I adore the picture of freshly picked cherries on a summer's day. The skin looks stunning in Bright Poppy. It's flattering shade for all skin tones. If your skin lacks brightness, then Bright Poppy is your friend. The highlighter is an orange gold with white shimmer. It is beautiful with this blusher. It gives the golden glow to the skin. It's brightening, it's fun, it's summer in a highlighter. 
Blush Peony is a medium pink with a hint of peach. It looks stunning on all skin tones. It mimics healthy skin, pretty skin. It's effortless, it's beautiful. It's like Lily Lipstick, it's just pretty. The highlighter is a cool pink shimmer. Glide this over or under the blusher, it will complement it. It makes the skin shine with this childlike prettiness. Vivid Azalea, as the name suggests, works on all skin tones. It's like a cool, fresh morning hitting your skin. On deeper skin tones, the effect is beautiful, like a day spent in the sun. It's brightening, it's illuminating, and it gives life to the skin. Don't be frightened by the color. It's universally flattering. The highlighter is a pearlescent pink with white gold shimmer. It complements this blusher, it glides over the blusher, and it makes everything pop and gives this gorgeous stain to the skin. There you have it. It's so exciting for this because these are just so pretty and so easy. So let me tell you a couple of tips that you can do with this. Now, when you've completed your makeup, I think it's really nice to just take a touch of the blusher and run it through the crease of the eye. It kind of pulls everything together. And speaking of having things work harmoniously with each other. Use the highlighter on your eyelid, on your brow bone, on your tear duct area. That way, your highlighter from your cheek blends in with the rest of your face. It just creates harmony and looks stunning. Because the pan sizes are so big, these are body highlighters to your shoulders, collarbones, your arms, your legs, go for it. You absolutely can go for it with this, with this palette because it's so large, you get a lot of product. And I wanted to make sure as well that you really could, this is why the pan sizes are that big, so you can go straight down the arms, you can go down the legs, you don't have to have a separate body highlighter, it's all here in this one palette. Blush tips. So, you can just apply the blusher directly to the skin, you'll get a beautiful flushed effect to the skin. If you apply the highlighter, lightly over the blusher, you get this beautiful shimmering effect to the skin. If you apply the highlighter first to the skin and then very gently glide the blusher over that, you get this ethereal look where the shimmer is pushing through the blusher. And then if you apply the highlighter first to the skin, but then take a brush and actually buff in the blusher over the highlighter, it transforms it into this incredibly glistening blusher. It's beautiful however you choose to use it. I hope you love them. I really do. Uh, this has been a labor of love and worked so hard on these colors. And I truly believe that they are flattering, they are pretty, they are simple to wear, and they give impact to the skin by giving it life, by giving it this radiant health. And that's really what this, these palettes are about. They're about creating a beautiful canvas. I so hope you like them. All the information is in the description bar. Thank you, thank you so very much. And a big shout out, of course, to Mel and Kelsey for always being absolutely gloriously supportive. And thank you to you, because without this, none of this would be possible. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.